prof uh, balance. Ah, oh, I didn't like your dog. It's not balanced. Uh, what mean that? Why? Why it's not balanced? Uh, well, it's not balanced because the, he was falling apart, or he, the, the front is much bigger than the back, or uh, but he's not balanced. You know, that's usually, you know, look at this. So if we said we have a dog, adorable one. So we have, if we divide this dog on half, let's say that will be here, and the last wither is actually dividing, a, a, how you call this, length of the back on two equal pieces, okay? So now look at this. On front of the dog, we have a lion, top knot, front leg, ears, head. And back to balance with that, we have a loin and croup with a little tail and a back legs to balance entire composition of the front. So actually, it's meaning that the dog is a very easily can be bringed in the, in the composition or into the, into the look where he will crash on the leg. He will not crash, but the outlook, what you, the style what you will put on him will show up too heavy in front, what will bring him, you know, crashing or falling on, on part. So everybody is balanced because every animal which is supposed to stand up from four legs or wake up and walking today on two legs. Happy human society. Because it's much easier to keep the balance. Walking on four legs it's very difficult to keep the balance because the powerful structure of the front is very difficult to be kept, not to crash during a, during a movement. The bigger problem is, is happening when the, in the races with the dogs because they lose the balance, they crash on front, they broke the legs and the necks and things like that, okay? So, on top of that, what's meaning now that let's balance the dog? So dog balanced her bo his body, but the question is, do we know how to recognize that, how to, how, to, how to understand that, and then not to screw that with the grooming? Because every dog is balanced, you just need to ask, okay, can you just give me the guidelines that I will make you be balanced? Because he's anyhow balanced. <laughs> he's walking on four feet, no? So it's mean balanced. What's mean balanced? When you will touch your dogs at home, that can be your homework, which results I can never probably <laughs> take into consideration, but play with that. Point of front is very important piece of the rear. As well, the point of shoulder is very important piece of the front. So it's meaning that these two, these two points will match when the dog is balanced, you know? So when you put the dog staying, they are here. Thank you, Olga. <laughs> when you put the dog into the, to stay, you know, what you want to have visible is a point of shoulder somewhere here where I don't know where I will put. And on the other side, you want to have a point of rump expressed because these two points visible from the side will keep your dog straight, balanced, okay? The next important pieces are knee and shoulder, and not shoulder, uh, elbow. So knee and elbow is matching. So if you know these lines and if you know these rules, it will not be difficult to follow the lines and to get your dog into the balanced position. So, but everything in the dog's body is quite catch 22. So what we know is that elbow should match with the depth of the chest. So you will put the depth of the chest close to the elbow in order to create the ultimate look. But once you will do the chest, create the elbow, you know where you should place your knee on the back legs, okay? Once you know, do you have enough do you have enough neck on the dog or you want to press the front to create a forechest? You know where you will place the, the point of 
shoulder or a breastbone visible from the side, but you can't go too high or too low because you are limited with the point of rump. Does it make sense? Okay, great.